We do want to go out to our Tori Mason, checking on what we need to do outside. And Tori, we know you're at the Denver Botanic Gardens. What's going on out there? Well, Britt, last night there was still some moisture in the air here, and it was just at the cusp of 32 degrees. So most things that were tender still survive the cold, but that won't be the case all week long. Right now they're focused on pulling out any of those annuals and tender plants that will not survive the first frost of the season. If tonight's forecast is correct, Denver is looking at a freeze that would kill annual flowers and vegetables. So if you have any tomatoes, peppers, eggplants, or squash in your garden, go ahead and just harvest those tonight. If they're not quite ready to eat yet, you can try putting them in a brown paper bag. Those gases may help them ripen in a few days. Cold season greens like lettuce, kale, and cabbage, those can be left alone. But the flowers, they have to go. Just cut them and enjoy them for the next few days. Now, avid gardeners are typically on top of all of this, but there are always a few who forget the most important thing, water. Winter watering is the thing that most people forget. So things like shrubs and trees and even some of your perennials, they still need to have water about once a week, once every other week. Lots of irrigation companies are blowing out sprinklers. So especially with a hard freeze like the one coming this weekend, you want to make sure to protect your irrigation system. So if you're not going to have a professional winterize your sprinkler system, the best thing you can do right now is turn off the water to the sprinkler and cover any of those exposed pipes on the side of your house with a towel or an old blanket. If you don't, that water could freeze, expand, and possibly even break the system. We're live in Denver, Tori Mason covering Colorado First. Good information for us to know. Thank you, Tori.